The item alias feature is used to create multiple item numbers for a single item. Organizations often use bogus, made-up numbers to items for when they appear on documents that customers see, like estimates and invoices. Doing so helps prevent customers from using internet search engines to find the wholesale cost of an item, then using it to bargain for a better deal. The item alias feature helps manage this process and reduce the likelihood of price comparisons by customers. As a basic overview of the item alias concept, an inventory part is created in normal fashion. Then an alias is entered in the item alias form for that part. The actual item number is still used when preparing invoices or purchase orders, but when the invoice or purchase order is printed, the appropriate item alias will be substituted for the actual number. To use the item alias feature, first you must enable the item alias preference. To do so, go to Edit from the main menu at the top and then select Preferences. Or, click on the Preferences shortcut from the toolbar. From within Preferences, click on Items and then the Company Preferences tab. This is an administrative preference and must be turned on by the administrator user. Check the option down below to use item alias feature. When you're ready to begin setting up your item aliases, go to Customers from the main menu at the top and then select Invoice Item List. Look up or find the inventory part and then double click to edit. Go to Menu and then select Alias. As you can see, you have a customer side and a vendor side. The aliases that you enter on the vendor side will be used on printed transactions that you purchase from vendors. The aliases that you enter on the customer side will be used on printed transactions that you create for customers. As you can see, I already have some aliases set up. I'm going to enter in an item alias for my Ace Hardware vendor. Once you've completed filling out the alias, click OK. Then click Save and Close on the item. To see what this looks like, let's create a purchase order. Go to Vendors, New Purchase Order. Enter in the vendor that you created the alias for, and then we're going to select the actual item name number. Put in your quantity, and then save the transaction. Now we're going to see the printed form. Select the option to use this vendor's item alias. Now let's click Preview. As you can see, rather than the actual part name number, R410A30, my item alias is used, Refrigerant. For more information on item aliases, click F1 to read the help topic on item alias.